welcome back. So um, every month now I'm going to be revealing the peachy palette. So I'm going to be sent this box and I am going to go over the colors, the custom mixes, the, you know, the themes of the boxes, whatever the case may be. Now, um, I'm pretty sure this theme was fall because of the colors that uh, were included, but I think that the combination of colors was really pretty in the sense that, um, you know, we had this beautiful gold, yellowy gold, you know, that could be, that's perfect for fall, a green, and then like a teal, if you wanted to go more of a teal, and then a pink, there's all, it's always nice to have, you know, that pink that can kind of go into fall because you know there's a lot of people that like pink and it it was just this really gorgeous blush kind of pink but it wasn't so pink you know it was more um almost like a rose gold pink but uh this one this gold that that yellowy gold was just i i don't i didn't have anything like that yet and um i think i I thought it was really beautiful. Um, this green was really pretty. It had a lot of like iridescent, different uh, like holographic type pieces in there. Um, it was a really unique mix. And I think you could use that a lot of different ways of uh, different times of the year. You know, if you just needed a green, something along those lines. And I will say that um, they are coming in jars now, but I do like to kind of get a view of them when they are in the bags. So I would encourage you when you when you get these and you get them in the jar, which is much more convenient, I get that. You don't have to heat up the sticker and peel it off. You don't have to buy extra bottles and you know that kind of thing. But I will encourage you to pour it out whenever you get them. Like pour, just get a sheet of parchment paper or something and pour it out and really look at the color because sometimes the way that they get stuck to the inside of the jar, the colors, certain colors just stick more than others. So you don't really get a feel for it. But I would encourage you to pour it out and look at it and really get a feel for the color. And that way, when you go to start designing or when you're looking at vinyls and different things, you know, decals or whatever you have, and you're just like, you know, I remember seeing a really beautiful pink that would go really well with this particular look or style or, or you know, this, this vinyl has this kind of color in it. And so, um, you know, it just gives you an idea of what you have in stock, right? So that's why, you know, putting it under epoxy is one way. I think pouring it out and just looking at it and kind of checking to see the different cuts and colors and, and shades and things like that will also help you uh, when you are when you are getting boxes that you did not plan on, you know, you didn't plan on these colors, you didn't pick them out, you didn't specifically decide on these colors because you need this particular color or this particular style or whatever. And so when you get these boxes, you know, it just encourages you to, to kind of think outside the box, you know, just instead of always going with the same color or the same thing that attracts you all the time, these boxes really open up your mind and open up you know, the thought process of like, oh, I don't know that I would have ever bought this, but here it is. And now I have it. And, um, you know, that's what I love about these palettes. So I won't go over too much of these bookmarks because I know most of you know how to do these. Or if you don't, you can you can learn a little bit with uh, some of the, the clips that I'm going to show here. But I wanted to kind of show you how, if you saw the, the epoxy in the very beginning, yes, and I dropped my little, um, that part A, <laughs> it's hard to get a glove so I could dig it out and scrape it off anyways. But I wanted to, show, to, to kind of, you know, lead into the fact that this epoxy has been sitting on a shelf. Now, it's perfectly fine to use, you know, as far as, you know, it's not like it goes bad, but it does start to turn brown, right? The um, A side, I think it is, or B side, whatever, one of the sides starts to turn. And so, and I always think to myself, I don't want to put that on a cup, you know, or I, I don't want it to, to discolor, 
the cups, but if you're going to do like epoxy samples or something like a bookmark or something that's not going to be out in the sun, that isn't going to be used like a tremendous amount of, on a daily, daily, daily basis kind of thing, like a cup would, um, that this would be the time, you know, or if you just want to see something under epoxy, this would be the time that you could use something along these lines with that, with that that's kind of turned a little bit brown in the epoxy so instead of putting it on a cup you could use it to make you know keychains or bookmarks and because all of these were like a darker color or they had you know uh kind of a like the gold in the in the yellow that kind of thing so i didn't really think that the color the brown fade of this epoxy that happened would cause anything to, uh, you know, discolor in the sense that it's just a bookmark. It's we're mixing the glitter in. So um, we're going to have a perfectly fine, you know, result in the end. So if you do have some old epoxy that's been sitting there, this is the time when you can use it instead of using your really good stuff that you have that's fresh, that's new, that's ready to be put on your cups or, you know, any other type of projects that you're doing. And so anyways, just wanted to throw that little tidbit, little tip out there just so you know. So then as you can see, we sanded them down. That is something that you want to do with acrylic, you definitely want to sand them down and then clean them with alcohol, get those sand bits, you know, off of there. And then um, we went in with, I took just the little medicine cups and uh, I think I did like seven and a half. So there's, there's a line that's like five and then seven and a half and then 10. And I might've been within the seven and a half, 10 mark on each one of these. And so that's kind of how I measured out how much epoxy I was going to mix up in the first place, right? So I was like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And so I mixed up about 45, 50 milliliters. And then I put each little, you know, <clears throat> cup there and I poured about seven and a half to 10 milliliters of, you know, each one and then took the glitter and mixed it in. And then we poured it out all over the bookmarks, you know, and I just took my time with this just to make sure that we weren't getting a bunch of spillage over the sides, that we weren't getting it into the holes, which I eventually did anyways. But, you know, just take your time that way. You know, epoxy just, it just needs to be handled gently and it needs to have you need to just not rush it because if you rush it, it will, it'll just flow all, all the places that you don't want it to flow. So I always kind of just take my time when it comes to something like this, that I want it to stay on top and I don't want it to flow over the sides and get in the holes and all of that. Now, also another thing is you want to make sure that you're keeping the backing on these uh, bookmarks because you don't any any acrylic anything that you're doing acrylic wise you don't want to take that other side off because it this is a way for you to clean up your mess if it gets on the back side or whatever you just peel that off and then you're good to go as far as uh, clean up on the other side and then it stays clear and clean and everything so that you can see the beautiful glitter coming through on the other side so I set those on um, in, inside of a tray and kind of set them over to the side so that they wouldn't get bumped or messed with. And um, this is me just revealing the other side. So once you take that acrylic, uh, that paper off of the back, ta-da, now you have the really beautiful side of the glitter. And this was me just trying to show you like the up close and personal um, kind of look um, in the light and shining through those acrylic, those clear acrylic pieces. This teal is stunning. It really is. I um, I, I can't wait for for y'all to see this in person because nothing of the camera, or anything is going to do this justice. So, um, and this is just a really fun green. I I this is a green I probably would never have picked, but I'm so glad that I have it because it's going to be one of those kind of vital greens that you have in your in your collection. But um, this bright yellow is awesome. I mean, can you imagine that on a pencil? 
this is like the pencil yellow that we have been looking for, I think. Um, it is so beautiful. And Tiny Dancer, if you don't have it, you have to put it in your basket today and get it because it is a it is a beautiful color. I was almost going to say stunning again because I say stunning a little bit too much in this video. But anyways, so now I'm going to go back and show you, um, you know, what they look like in the jar because it does sometimes make a bit of a difference when you're looking inside of the jar or when you're looking on the outside of the jar. So that's why I was saying I encourage you to pour it out and really look at the color and really examine exactly the mix that they made and the shades and the, the, the sizes and the cuts and all of those things that they really put um, some real thought into. And um, I just want you to really appreciate these boxes for what they are um, instead of just immediately making a choice that you don't like this green or whatever. Like really, you know, just just take a moment. And it's I mean, this is art. This is all subject to, you know, your opinion. That's for sure. But, you know, just take a moment and just really start to appreciate, you know, the mix and, and the, the work that went into, you know, it's not just a, they just mix some stuff together. They really put some thought into mixing these, you know, really look at them under epoxy and really try to tell, you know, what kind of mixes they have made. So, so this here, um, let's go back through them. This is Umbridge. This is a beautiful pink, almost like a rose gold kind of blush pink. And then this is Olivander, Olivander. I know I'm messing these words, these these names up. I hope I'm not too bad, but um, beautiful teal color. And then we have um, Goli or Golly, and it's a gorgeous green. You see all those different shades of colors in there that would really bring out um, any kind of color that you decided to put with it. Um, and then we've got Diggory, and this is a perfect pencil yellow in my opinion this is the one we've been looking for gorgeous gorgeous yellow golden yellow love it and then we have tiny dancer now tiny dancer is if you don't have it it's definitely one of those that you need in your collection you will not be disappointed um, and you can use it all year round i feel like hello now that we've gone over how to do the bookmarks and showing you up close and personal through the video of what the glitters look like. I thought I would come on and introduce myself again and make sure everybody knows me, but um, my name is Erica Paxton and I am the owner and creator of 321 Cup Designs Paxton Projects. I um, absolutely love this. I love what I'm doing. I love teaching you. I love um, crumbing up with ideas. I love creating. That's very important to me. Um, but I thought that this was very important for me to come on and tell my story about the peachy collaboration that I have now. And when I first started two years I ago, really admired peachy olive glitters and really admired Flynn Sisters Boutique that they were exclusive to them. And I have bought plenty of their palettes and different you know, put specific glitters from them throughout the years. And the quality just really is hard to, to match as far as the quality of the glitters, the, the coverage, the, the blend of, of these glitters is just, it just doesn't, it just doesn't match up with most. And, um, and then the quality of the the custom mixes and things that Krista and her team comes up with. It's over definitely there. a moment of pride for me to be affiliated with them, um, to be able to bring you some of their products, be able to show you all of their gorgeous, gorgeous glitter mixes. So with that being said, I wanted to come on and show you the glitters in person and tell you what I thought instead of just showing you through the video. Um, because I know I don't come on here very often, but I don't have the most beautiful, you know, works. So this one is the, um, and I apologize if I butcher these names, but the Olivander, Olivander. And um, I just did some bookmarks. I've been working on um, detoxing my home and making my homemade lotions and other types of salves and balms and things like that sprays for cleaning and air fresheners and all of that. So I wanted to have some bookmarks 
to put into the books where marking wherever you know with the different recipes that I'm using what I'm working on things like that the oils that I'm infusing and so I thought I'll make some bookmarks and I got these off of the Cami Page Boutique you do have a discount code with them Paxton 10 so you can make your own also these can be great glitter samples like you know I mean uh, you know you just epoxy these and glitter them and then you have the glitter under epoxy and you kind of know what to expect and that kind of thing but um, anyways as you saw in the video I put epoxy down and made all of these into bookmarks here and this was um, you know serving many purposes here so I have this one is umbrage and a stunning pink I mean it is a it's it's a little more pink than rose gold but it does favor a little bit of that rose gold I think if you put it with a gold or mix a little rose gold in there or put it with like rose gold opal or something like that I think you're gonna get a perfect match and so I just added these beads here at the top um, just the same thing as the little keychains that I made and uh, so anyways I wanted to show y'all that one and then this is it under I mean in the bottle here this is the they are going to be coming in jars from now on as far as the palette is concerned um, and then once again this is Ollivander and I, I really hope that the close-up of me working with it in epoxy does it justice because this is a stunning 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 teal it that's I can't describe how it has like um, it has square and you know the regular cut glitter and it has a it has um, almost like a black or like a dark gray in there but you will be very very surprised and this is something that it would even it would even be for these two to go together would be a really beautiful Christmas type theme I think um, and you could add some really pretty like pink poinsettias or something like that so then we go into this is goalie and this I think would match a lot with like hash um, or linder this would be a really beautiful green for that and um, the it has like a little bit of gold in it and kind of red it's uh, very fall very pretty I really hope that the all the the looks of in the camera do this a lot more a lot better justice than these videos so this is it in the jar here that's it's a uh, it's a dark green but it does it does look a little bit brighter once you pull it out and put it into the epoxy it does have some colors there and then we have diggory and like I said if I'm butchering these names I apologize but diggory is like a really nice it's actually I think the best pencil yellow that I've ever seen like this to me looks like the yellow of a pencil and just in time for Christmas making pencil cups and that kind of thing this is it under epoxy it has a perfect shine it's um, it has just ever so slight look of like iridescence to it but um, I think that just adds the gold aspect Ooh, sorry it adds kind of that gold aspect to this yellow um, and then these two together I think would be very pretty if you were doing um, Green Bay Packers something like that um, I know there's another team the Pirates maybe I don't know anyways I know there, there I think there's another team that's green and gold but um, anyways I just thought these two together would be really pretty so and then um, as you saw in the video I did tiny dancer I just kind of threw it in there because I wanted to showcase another glitter along with the four that were in the palette this is one of the ones that I didn't have for the longest time and then I finally got it and I had heard rants and raves over it for so long and I realized when I put it under epoxy exactly why because it is it is a stunning stunning pink 
peachy, orangey. I mean, cause so I put these uh, beads with it that are like pink and kind of orangey. And it is, it is a stunning, it has a stunning sparkle. Um, I cannot wait to do some kind of cup with this for sure. Um, and just the sparkle is beyond. Um, and I, I do think that it could go with any one of these um, in the sense that the teal would be really pretty. The yellow would be really pretty. Um, I just thought it would be kind of a fun to show you a, a really neat, unique mix that uh, they do carry and that one is called tiny dancer and that's it in the jar there you will not be disappointed with this one for sure um, i think you could add it into some fall but you could also definitely play it into summer and spring so it's definitely must have in your collection anyways i wanted to thank you guys for watching and i hope to be on the screen a little bit more i um have been kind of avoiding that my son's been home now he's in school i have a little bit more time on my hands and now that i am kind of venturing out a little bit more into my affiliations and just you know what i want to be for you guys I really want to start showing my showing my face and being a part of the community a little bit more so anyways I hope you're okay with that but <laughs> I uh, anyways thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe and comment down below let me know what you think let me know which one is your favorite and um, let me know, you know, what you think about the palettes. When, if you, you know, I think that it's a good way for you to venture out into maybe a color that you probably would not buy, and then you have that in your collection. So when you do come to a point of like, oh, I really want to make this type of tumbler or this type of look, you're like, hey, I do. I actually have a green, whereas I'm not really a big fan of green. I don't buy a lot of green, but when I get it in a palette, it's like, oh, well, now I have a green, you know. Anyways, I hope this encourages you to think outside the box and to get your palette the next time. Links are all down below. If you do happen to go to Peachy Olive Glitter and start shopping for glitter and decals and vinyl, which they do have, they do have some other things, but the code Paxton10 counts on glitter, vinyl, and decals, and they have a really lot of fun stuff, fun designs, very unique stuff, um, and I think you're going to love it. Anyways... I'll see you next time.